Hi, honey. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I just want to give you all an update on my portable air conditioner with the two, with the dual hoses that go out the window. Okay. I've gotten about three or four emails from people want to know how it's holding up and does it cool off and does it get cold and all that. So let me show y'all. Okay, this is my winter, it's spelled W-H-Y-N-T-E-R, dual hose, 14,000 BTU air conditioner plus the heater is attached. So I can also use it as a space heater if we get cold and don't have heat. Okay, that's what it looks like. And right now I have it on the setting of 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And my house is nice and cool. I usually turn it down some when it's really, really hot outside. And this, these are the buttons that you use. I can turn it up with this button. That's the plus sign. I can turn it down with the minus sign to make it cooler. But 77 was fine. Cold air blows out of the vents. You can close it. I don't want it closed. I want it open. These are And I'm able to conceal these hoses pretty much because I got the couch in front of it and my windows are very low. Now some people got high windows or the slider windows. And they have to do some creative fixing. This, um, I think this pulls the hot air out the house. And I forgot what this one does. One's intake, one is exhaust, and this hose gets hot. It was really, really, really hot when I first set this up, because my house was like 100 degrees. Um, I like it a lot. I don't know what the bill is going to look like. I haven't gotten it yet, so I'll let you all know if you update it. And if you get one of these, it weighs about a hundred pounds in the box. Let me put this back on me. Okay, it weighs about a hundred pounds in the box. Now, it came in two days. So people brought it and put it on the front porch. And my hubby was asleep, so I was going to try to bring it in by myself. Uh-uh. It was too heavy. hundred pounds in the box. So had to wake him up so he struggled with it and brought it on in the house and then we we're figuring trying to figure out how to get it out of the box and all we had to do was cut those plastic bands that held the box on cut it and then lift the box straight up off the air conditioning unit didn't have to split no box down the side or nothing just lift it straight up. So that may be helpful for somebody. And if you're planning on buying this, please have some help. You can't do it by yourself. You can't, you can't lift it. Now once it's out of the box, it's on casters. So it rolls freely in, you know, in the house. But you have to get it out of the box first. Okay, the cord is about four and a half to five feet long. I'm not going to mess with nothing. I'm not going to pull the cord out. This has been running ever since we got it. Got it hooked up, set up. And let me show you. And these little things. Oh, that's me. Y'all can see how this air is blowing, right? That's cold air blowing. Look at that. It works. It works. For real, for real. Let me show you. Okay. These um, things here, they have to scoop onto this little plastic part down here. So, and you'll see it when you get it. You can't just pop it on and think it's going to fit. It won't. You have to screw it on. 
and when I got mine, mine was $499. Today is $429 on sale. And the one that also has the heat pump is actually cheaper than the air conditioning only. So I'm glad I got it. My house feels like I have central air. And like I said, I don't know what the bill is going to look like yet. The electric bill. I don't know. So, that's my little update. And what else did somebody ask me? <clears throat> oh, it weighs 80 pounds once it's out of the box. So it's still too heavy to be, to be lifted, but you don't have to once it's out of the box. Because it's on casters and it rolls freely. But have you some help? You can't do it by yourself, else you'll break your back or break it trying to fool with it. And it's pretty easy to set up once you get everything out the box. Okay, that's my little update. Can't think of nothing else. And I haven't tried the heat pump yet. I don't dare. <laughs> How does it is? So I don't know if that works good or not. But the air sure works, and that's what I got it for. So one thing that could be improved upon. Let me show you. Okay, one thing that can be improved upon is they should light these buttons up. These controls. It's like this is lit up. Because if you're in here in the dock trying to set the temp, you can't see what you're doing. See, I've set it enough to know that this is plus and this is minus. And I don't know what these others are yet. But I don't fool with them. And I think I am going to set this down some, so cool off more. 76, 75. Okay. That's the only thing that can be improved upon that I can see right now. Okay. I want to thank you for watching. Leave a nice comment and subscribe to my channel. And you all have a very blessed day. Okay. Bye. Oh, let me show you what else I've done to try to keep the cool air into the space where we need it. Let me turn this around. I can go this way. Oh, you still can't see it. I got some clear shower curtains and I tacked them up here. Y'all know those uh, vinyl strips that stores use. They got freezers. When they're in and out the freezer, those plastic strips. Okay, I cut up two plastic shower curtains. See how that is? Got it up there on hooks like that. And I can go through here. So that's blocking off this uh, space by the back door and the entrance to the kitchen. So let me go in around the other way and show you what I did. I was getting ready to cook and film what I was cooking. And this is the other entrance to the kitchen. So I got two shower curtains up here. I folded a long one in half and cut it. And I staggered the cuts. Okay. So the cool air can be in the living room, the dining room, and the family room. <laughs>